have the queen back. Mike mentioned you could uh, hook me up with a bit of an upgrade. That's right. He thought you might need some magical assistance in the gear department. That there is an enchantment that you roller. It lets you magically change the nature of your enchanted gear. You could just Power the magic, you see. Try and take over the world in no time. Make sure your blade's sharp for when they show up, eh? Hiya! Does anyone pay attention to Max? There you are! Oh, wow! Look at you! I think you're taller than the last time you came in. I'm here to see about changes in my chosen profession. The quick change has got a new upgrade. Now you can change out your secondary class anytime you like. Oh, so you do know what a secondary class is. I thought you had to call it something all fantasy-like, you know. <laughs> oh, sure. Don't you worry. We're all just part of a game, right? Saw you talking to those terrifying sky giants and figured it out. I'm actually relieved. Means I'm not to blame for my sins. I'm a dream thing. The blood on my hands is no more real than the shadows on the wall. Have a busy day. 
know what? Let's just keep this conversation between you and me, eh? I'm gonna go now. <laughs> the chamber? My queen, are you sure? <laughs> oh, of course, your majesty. <laughs> Fate maker, the queen has invited you to enter her royal castle. There is something within its lower chambers that she wants you to see. <laughs> Her Royal Majesty Queen Butt Stallion, Regent of Brighthoof, sitter upon of the adamant throne, and all around hot as babe of the Wonderlands, has granted you entrance to her castle! Look who it is. Welcome to my prison, fate maker. Here, I've got something I think you'll want to see. Hey, hey, dude. When Her Majesty locked me in this castle, I thought it was to teach me a lesson. But she had far greater things in mind. See, I'm not the only thing locked in here. Our Bunker Master, she's... more... complex than I gave her credit for. For all the chaos of the Wonderlands, she's kept her worst instincts tucked away here. The Chaos Chamber. What I know is soul energy. She knows as wonder and imagination. In the right hands, it can save the world. In the wrong hands. Well, I think we covered that during our big Act 3 climax, right? Within this chaos chamber are all of the unfair fights and unbalanced loot she's ever dreamed of. I've tried to find out what lies in the center of this creative maelstrom, but dice don't listen to non-player characters. I can't wield that power anymore, but you can, Fate Maker. Enter the Chaos Chamber. Defeat the worst she has to throw at you. I don't know what's waiting for you inside, but I do know you will only emerge stronger. Did you? Here, I've got a little 
investment opportunity for you. The Chaos Chamber rewards those who challenge themselves. These crystals contain curses. Accepting a curse will make the fight harder, but the reward will be much nicer. Now, shatter that die and reap the reward. There's always a die in each encounter, but if you can complete other objectives, you will unlock a second. You can use those crystals you collected at these altars. Their blessings can enhance your power and make it slightly less likely you'll die painfully. <laughs> slightly. See you after the next fight, or when you die. Either or, I'm not picky. made it this far. If you can survive all of what the Chaos Chamber can throw at you, there will be great rewards waiting for you at the end. You'll have to choose between spending your crystals at the altar and cashing them in for loot at the end.
quite the little killer, aren't you? Someone's got a case for boomies. Looks like someone took a wrong turn. I wasn't sure before we came in here, but now I know. There is a presence here. Something making all of this happen. This maker wants your crystals and offers you rewards. Choose wisely. Or don't. Not my crystals. Thank <laughs> you. 